Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch Soldier 1 video. And today we are back in X-Plane, as you can clearly tell. And now in today's video, let's talk about the Lockheed C5 Galaxy. Recently, we checked out the Globemaster, which is quite a similar but smaller plane. And yeah, a lot of guys asked me to do a video about this plane too, because, you know, this is a really thick boy, as you can already tell. Now, um, how should I start? Obviously, this is a military transport aircraft. Obviously, this is a cargo aircraft. The manufacturer of this is Lockheed slash Lockheed Martin. Now, obviously, something that I immediately noticed was its unusual tail. As you can see right here, we have a T design tail. Kind of looks strange when you take a second glance at it. I don't know. It just doesn't really look normal, but as long as it flies, does it fly though? Let's take it off first. Yeah, you can see we only have a 2D cockpit instead of a 3D cockpit because this is quite an older add-on plane. Now talking about dates, the C5 Galaxy family kind of had its first flight in 1968, which obviously was quite a long time ago, even though there obviously have been several refreshes and new versions of the C5 during the years. For example, they started off with the C5A, then they came up with a new C5B and a C5C as well, and even a C5M. All are a bit different. I think this is the second version. This is the C5B, which came out in 1985. Yeah, so that was a lot later, obviously. I don't know. The T-tail design really just does still look weird. I don't know. Now, the C5 Galaxy is so big that it's actually counted as pretty much the biggest military aircraft, which is true. It's obviously not the biggest aircraft overall, since there's obviously the Antonov N-225, which is a civil aircraft, which is still a bit bigger. Now, um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use this plane at smaller airports. Let's start a bit, you know, easier. Now, the C-5 Galaxy is actually resistant when it comes to taking off on short runways. Or is it, though? Let's find out, right? Now we are spawned in at Samaden Airport. We have a very weird stone wall surrounding the airport, but I think I did that around half a year ago on accident. Whatever, right? Actually, I was at this airport a few days ago and actually made a video about it, so you can check it out. We are already going full power. Let's just go ahead and take off. And we have genuinely just taken off. That is interesting. Big plane, though. Now, let's try another airport. Maybe we can already try St. Bartholomew, which also has a very small runway. Probably not the best idea. And I'm now realizing the size of this. Oh, damn. I'm not quite sure, so let's use the whole island as a runway extension. There are just casually people standing here with their selfie sticks. I mean, why not? I guess. Let's just go ahead and take off. Let's use some flaps. Let's go. This might work. I was able to take off an A319 out of this airport once. Yeah, no, this is not gonna work out. Oh. Oh, that might actually work. The problem is pretty much right after the runway, we have uh, this mountain. Otherwise, we could have made it, right? Oh, that's a lot of dust. Oh yeah, that was a major tail strike. Okay, that might have not worked out. Even though for such a big aircraft, this was actually not bad. The 747 would have actually fallen into the water directly. So, yeah. Let's check out Lukla Airport. We don't have anything to lose at this point. Obviously, this is not gonna work out. Now, here we are at Lukla Airport with a big plane. This is not gonna work. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, maybe we, we might make it, right? I think we are actually able to fly normally now. We have actually just taken off out of Lukla. Now, obviously, we could use that steep valley to gain some more speed, and we are now stably flying. Now, the C-17, the Globemaster, which we have already talked before, is known for being a plane that is able to take off pretty much everywhere. Is the C-52... This thing really does not need a long runway and a lot of speed to take off either. Very good. Now, do I even need to say anything anymore? Let's just go ahead and launch this aircraft. Let's just go full power. Oh. I think that was actually close. We might have actually hit the water, but we have now gone for a vertical takeoff, which this plane is surprisingly able to do quite well. Let's try out another airport, I guess. Let's try Courchevel Airport. All right, so here we are at Courchevel Airport. This is a very, very short runway. 
this might actually be successful again. Alright, this was a perfectly normal takeoff in the C5 galaxy. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.